Assessing our triceps, there's many ways to go about this. As long as you, you position your patient to get good access to the triceps, we're going to have a look at this one in through here. So we're just going to put our probe longitudinal with our patient in this position. So the triceps is made out of your long, lateral and medial heads. Your long and lateral heads form a conjoint tendon and form the bulk of your triceps and your medial head has its own separate insertion in on the olecranon. So if we go short axis in through here, we see this long intramuscular tendon up in through here. So this is the conjoint tendon of the long and lateral heads. It comes around and wraps itself up on top over in through here. And then we have our medial head out in through here and its medial head forms its own little separate tenderness insertion just in through there, coalescing its fibres up to have its own little insertion in through there. So if we turn long in through here, we can see our medial head having its own little separate foot plate, separate in thesis. You can see the bony facet anatomy in through there. And we have our long and lateral heads forming the main bulk of our triceps. So where, where you have your spurring or enthesopathy, I'm just going to put in a little bit more extension out here, thank you. Where you have your spurring or enthesopathy is in the long and lateral heads. And the deep component down in through here, your medial head, this is a common place for you to get CPPD depositions. Okay, so you can get gout or pseudo gout depositions within the medial head of triceps. It's a common place to get it. Underneath our triceps in through here, we have the posterior aspect of the joint where you can assess what's happening in the back of the joint. This is a common place to get loose bodies and people have issues with elbow extension. This is where we're going to be looking, assessing the posterior aspect of the joint. We're going to see our hyaline cartilage, we can see our joint lining, our joint capsule and assess the joint effusions back in through here. If you have a large elbow joint effusion in through here, this, this is often a, a nice way to aspirate it as well. You can bring your needle in if you've got a large effusion in through there, bring your needle in either medial or lateral to aspirate that fluid. But there's your triceps and your posterior joint assessment.